Hi, welcome to Pikai Pharmacy. So today in this video, we will be discussing about cyclodextrin. Now let me give you a little bit introduction on this topic. Now at first place, why we need cyclodextrins? So the obvious reason is to increase the solubility of poorly water soluble drugs. So therapeutic effectiveness of a drug depends upon the bioavailability that is ultimately the solubility of the drug molecule. So solubility is an important parameter to achieve desired concentration of drug in systemic circulation for effective pharmacological response. Now in order to achieve high solubility of a drug molecule, complexation technique is used. So hear me out. Complexation is the reversible association between two or more molecules to form a non-bonded entity with a well-defined stoichiometry. Now in this video, we will discuss about a specific type of complexation that is called inclusion complex. Okay, wait, not so about inclusion complex, rather a more specific type of inclusion complex that is called monomolecular inclusion complex and the standard molecule or say the host molecule exhibiting such monomolecular inclusion complexation is cyclodextrin which is the main highlight of this video. Now before going towards cyclodextrin I would like to say a few words about inclusion complex. So inclusion complex or also called occlusion compounds is a type of complex where one of the components of the complex is trapped in the open lattice or cage-like crystal structure of the other component and also apart from monomolecular type of inclusion complex there are three other types of inclusion complexes like channel type inclusion complex layer type inclusion complex and clad threads so till now what we can learn is that inclusion complex are formed by the insertion of the nonpolar molecule or the nonpolar region of one molecule into the cavity of another molecule or a group of molecule. So together the nonpolar molecule which is having poor water solubility and the molecule with the cavity that is the host molecule they together form a inclusion complex and the most commonly used host molecules are cyclodextrin. Now if we define then cyclodextrins are non-reducing, crystalline, water-soluble, cyclic oligosaccharides and it consists of glucose monomers arranged in a donut-shaped ring. Now let's briefly discuss about the structure of cyclodextrin. First of all, cyclodextrins are a group of structurally related natural products formed during the bacterial digestion of cellulose. Structurally, the cyclic oligosaccharides of cyclodextrin consists of alpha-D-glucopyranoside units linked 1 to 4 as in amylose linkage. And due to chair conformation of the glucopyranose units, the cyclodextrins are shaped like a truncated cone rather than a perfect cylinder. Now let's see how cyclodextrin increases the solubility of a poorly water-soluble drug. So cyclodextrins contains lipophilic inner cavities while the outer surface is hydrophilic. So the outer surface of the cyclodextrin molecule makes them water soluble and the hydrophobic inner cavities provides a microenvironment for appropriately sized nonpolar molecules that is poorly water soluble drug molecules. Now based on the structure and properties of drug molecule it can form 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 drug cyclodextrin complex. Now there are three naturally occurring cyclodextrins. Those are alpha cyclodextrin having 6 member sugar ring molecule, then comes beta cyclodextrin having 7 member sugar ring and also beta cyclodextrin is less irritating than the alpha cyclodextrin after the intramuscular administration. Then we also have gamma cyclodextrin with 8 membered sugar ring molecule. Now among all these cyclodextrins, the gamma form exhibits the highest water solubility of about 23.2 gram per 100 ml at 25 degrees Celsius. 
Now, when it comes to the synthesis of cyclodextrins, it is commonly done by CGTase enzyme, that is, cyclodextrin glucosyl transferase, and along with alpha amylase. So, in the process of synthesis, at first, the starch is liquefied by heat treatment or by using alpha amylase. After that, CGTase enzyme is added for the enzymatic conversion. This enzymatic conversion leads to the formation of non-cyclic starch which upon crystallization produces cyclodextrin. Now here, all forms of cyclodextrins get synthesized and remains in a mixture in certain ratios. So purification is done based on the water solubility to extract pure alpha, beta and gamma forms of cyclodextrin. And it is easy to purify them since all the main forms of cyclodextrins have different water solubility. Now as part of the applications, cyclodextrin is used in many types of drug delivery system like oral, parenteral, ophthalmic, nasal, topical and also in novel drug delivery systems like controlled drug delivery systems, liposomes, microcapsules, etc. Apart from bioavailability enhancement, it also helps in odor and taste masking. Now some probable side effects of cyclodextrins are nephrotoxicity, diarrhea, loss of appetite. These last two side effects, that is the diarrhea and loss of appetite is more prominent for beta cyclodextrins. Lastly, cyclodextrins needs to be stored in a tightly sealed container in a dry and cool place. Now, these are some examples of commercially available drugs in complex formulations and you can see by how much it can increase the solubility of a drug. So this was my attempt to explain you about cyclodextrin in a brief and concise manner. And I am very thankful to everyone who has still subscribed to this channel despite the fact that I haven't uploaded a single video for 9 months. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Bye. Questions like that, they make me nervous. Don't know no one else this damn determined. I'ma be on top and that's for certain.